One of my favorite investors of all time is Kathy Wood of ARK Invest, who always talks about how her thinking around investment and economics is shaped by something called the rights law. Previously, we talked about Moore's law in one of my videos. Be sure to watch that one if you haven't. We also talked about inflation and deflation. Now, in this video, we are going to explore rights law and how it relates to deflation. In the end, all of these topics will come together and tie into our understanding of the world as we enter into a new phase of human evolution, decentralized economy, and the singularity. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. If you remember in my video about deflation, I explained that based on the exponential growth of technology, we should really be seeing a sharp drop in prices of goods and services powered by these technologies. The fact that we are not seeing that drop in price, of course, has to do with the government's misuse of the money printing machine that keeps inflation intact. However, as we will see in this video, according to Wright's law, deflation is inevitable and its consequences will eventually play out. So what exactly is Wright law? It's a framework pioneered by Theodore Wright in 1930s that gave us a reliable way of forecasting how prices would fall based on the cumulative productivity. It's basically saying that every time we double the amount of production of any type of goods or services, the price can go down by a certain amount. Of course, the fact that the prices can go down due to higher and more efficient production, it doesn't mean that they will go down. For example, when we went from cassettes to CDs, the cost of producing CDs was a fraction of the cost of producing cassettes. But record labels still sold them for the same price, if not higher. And so many record companies made millions of extra unexpected income. Now, Theodore Paul Wright, who made hugely important observations about the falling prices of goods as a result of technology, had an incredible CV with so many accomplishments in aircraft engineering and many governmental and educational appointments. You can learn about him in more detail on the ARK Invest website. I'll leave a link for you in the description below. What made him come up with this observation, though, was his involvement in the airplane manufacturing, where he noticed that every time they doubled the airplane productions, they required 10 to 15 percent less labor. He then published his findings in a paper about this, which became known as the rights law. If you come to think about it, it's really incredible that we can discover these laws and correlations. It's like a mathematical equation describing laws of physics. If we look carefully around us, life is probably full of these laws and finding them is like a game of solving puzzles. It's super enjoyable. And the more of these laws we discover, the more efficient we become as a species. If you're interested to know the exact equation in Wright's law, it goes something like this. Y equals cumulative average time or cost per unit. X equals cumulative number of units produced. A equals time or cost required to produce the first unit. B equals slope of the function. The final equation is Y equals A times X to the power of B. So here we have an equation that mathematically proves deflation is the default. And yet, so many of us are making investment decisions with an inflationary mindset. I think it's time we come out of our shell and examine our assumptions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.